engineers, wow, how did you get like that? Every time I approximate, I do one push. <laughs> Welcome to the first edition of Engineering Meme Review. It's your boy, we Sam. Back with another engineering video. This is going to be a fun one. There's so many good memes out there. First, subscribe. And also, I started a new uh, Instagram page. It's called Irrational Engineering. It's going to be memes. It's going to be educational. It's going to be uh, entertainment, whatever. All sorts of stuff. So if you all went and followed that, that would be really appreciated. Let's dive into some memes, shall we? Engineering is a job without stress and very flexible. Bob, 28 years old. Yeah, <laughs> I'd love this guy. Uh, yeah, I mean, engineering, it, it's stressful, like, it's stressful. I think this is more applicable for school than it is for, uh, for work. School's a lot more stressful. You'll definitely be looking like this after your uh, second <laughs> fluid dynamics course. Finally, a JP. <laughs> eh, that's all right, like, sort of like an I-beam. This, this one I've seen before is pretty good. 500% here has entered the chat. Oh, it's so sad when this happens. It's so sad. Interpolate. That's true, man. Interpola interpolating is a pain. <laughs> Sometimes it's easier to like Paul. Me then, I want to be an engineer. Me now, what am I doing? Hey, engineering's fun, dude. Suck it up, girl. Electrons have negative charge, yes. And they're attracted to positive charge, yes. So current flows from negative to positive. It's positive to <laughs> It's true, they're, they're, they're in the diagrams, they're shown to the opposite way. <laughs> my coding skills, <laughs> my actual coding skills. It's true, a lot of people lie about their coding skills. My senior engineer was telling me about this. He's like, I've interviewed so many people, so often they just, they lie. And then you hire them, you're like, what the fuck? I thought you can code. Yeah, don't lie about it. Don't lie about your resume. Come on now. There's five minutes left on the exam and you find the entropy degrees. Oh, uh, <laughs> can't happen. There's nothing worse on an exam than when you, your answer is something that's physically impossible. <laughs> And you're like, fuck, I, I messed up somewhere. <laughs> Engineers, wow, how did you get like that? Every time I approximate, I do one push. <laughs> we do a lot of approximating and, and we make a lot of assumptions as engineers. <laughs> Engineering research paper started back. Analyze the fees. Oh, there's too much text on here. Yeah, you, you, you can't have memes with this much text. I'm sorry, it's just... I give this a thumbs down. Civil engineers driving by a project they design. <laughs> this this will be pretty cool as a civil engineer because you can actually see the things that you design, right? They're actually there. They're like, hey, I designed that. Our feedback is true <laughs> electric challenge. It's the only place I feel in control. <laughs> that was almost blah level. Pun not intended. Quick stealing my shtick. Thanks for the feedback. You're all dead to me. Please act. Here, I'm, I'm, I'm a little phased. <laughs> that magnitude. <laughs> <laughs> I love these puns, man. Well done, everyone. Well done. Official Canadian measurement system. Speed metric. Yeah. Distance. Is it your height? No. Is it long distance? No. Is it related, is it related to work? No. Metric. Is it related to work? Yes. Imperial. Temperature? Is it for, <laughs> is it for cooking? <laughs> yes. Fair enough. No. Is it the... <laughs> Oh, come on, come on. Mass, is it your weight? Yes, Imperial. No, is it... <laughs> so good, so true. Is it very heavy? <laughs> if it's heavy, it's in kilos. If it's not, it's in pounds. Ah, the famous entry-level position that requires three to five years of experience. It says entry-level, but here it says five to seven years of experience. I harp on this guy. Some real advice here. Get internships. Trying and, try and get internships in school. Take the co-op program or whatever your university calls it. Celsius are fair. <laughs> I, I don't even know what Celsius is. I never use Celsius at my job. It's always in Kelvin. Studying for finals? Nah. Calculating what I need to make on my finals to pass. I can't relate to this because I love finals. <laughs> I'm such a geek. Okay, chemical engineering. Any chemies out there when your reaction yield, when your percent yield for reaction to 160%, what should it be? 100%? I, I, I don't know. We can fairly say pi over three. <laughs> but never, we never say pi over three equals one, never. Pi equals E, come on now, come on now. This is a bit of a stretch. Engineering school <laughs> upon graduation. Nobody gets prepared for, uh, for work. 
Nobody does. Coming up with creative ways to work around limitations of online learning. Making your students install f***ing spyware so you don't have to change the exam you've been using for 10 years. I've heard a lot of professors are just lazy. Like a lot, a lot of people I talk to, they're like, yeah, my professor just sends us a bunch of YouTube links to watch. Get your shit together, professors. What are we paying you for? Question, blah, blah, blah. A, B, C, D, my calculator, 14, me. It's 12. <laughs> no, you never go with the nearest one. If you, if you get an answer that's 14 and your multiple choice has got, is like 12, the, it, it's not, it's never the closest one. You never pick the one that's closest to your answer. It's never the right one, I promise you. X equals X plus one. <laughs> Additions, nope, impossible. Coders, yeah, you, 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 can, you can do this in coding. You can redefine a variable. Friction can always be this kind of <laughs> The high school physics students, astrospace engineers designing satellites that don't worry about air resistance or friction. <laughs> you and I are not yeah, this doesn't apply to aerospace because there's an atmosphere and there's air, but once you're in space, you ain't gotta worry about friction or air resistance. <laughs> These are so freaking good. <laughs> when you leave the exam and you suddenly remember that the that your calculator was in radians. I, I I don't really buy this one. You probably know right away if your if if your uh, if your numbers are way off that your your function is is in radians instead of degrees or vice versa. Yeah, eh, yeah, it's not very good. <laughs> no, <laughs> you guys get it. So you always assume incompressibility when you're in school, but air is not incompressible. Imperial units in a second are fine. But one does not simply assume incompressible flow. There are no three better words than I love you. Assume ideal gas. Assume incompressible flow. Friction is negligible. <laughs> this is every thermodynamics and probably fluid mechanics problem that you'll come across. You dream of these assumptions because they make everything easier. Three rules. <laughs> I already know where it's going. No wishing for death, no falling, no bring it back. I want to assume compression. <laughs> when the fluids problem doesn't give you your brush. Exactly, you always assume atmospheric. Why would you, why would you use Celsius in a gas law problem? That's right, like I said, it's all Kelvin. Infinity War is the most ambitious crossover. <laughs> the ideal gas law is a combination of three different, I think like Boyle's law, Maybe Bernoulli, I don't know if it's Bernoulli's, but three different um, laws. <laughs> this is the crossover. That's good, man. That's so good. That's so nerdy. I love it. <laughs> PV equals NRT. PV is this is like the actual like gas line. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Honestly, I didn't feel like recording today, but this, this one is... You <laughs> see Sorry, I, I, I know I'm, I'm going nuts. I, I can't, I can't stop. One simply does not <laughs> ignore the ILT cast. Tell me more about <laughs> your being <laughs> uh, should we do a little bit of math? Integral calculus is fun, they said. It's just the reverse of differential calculus. Look, honestly, a lot of people struggle with integral calculus. That was my, that was my, my, by far my best course. Like I got, I got a hundred percent on the midterm, <laughs> little, little brag here. And I got like an A, a I think A or A plus in that class. I don't know. I have, I found it super easy, but a lot of people, a lot of people say that int calculus two is actually their hardest course in the entire engineering, which is uh, interesting. Or memes. <laughs> Writing an engineering exam. So anyway, I started assuming. <laughs> yeah, like I said, a lot of assuming. A lot of assumptions. <laughs> that was pretty fun, man. And then some of those memes are, are, are fantastic. I feel like the more specific you get, those are like the funniest ones. You know, where it's like, it's like very niche. If you guys didn't understand those, you will. By the time you're done engineering, you will probably have gotten all of those. Because, uh, <laughs> yeah, they're great. Anyway, we're gonna end the video. Thank y'all for watching. Make sure, like I said before, check out the new engineering page I have. It's called Irrational Engineering. It's gonna be it's gonna be a good time. I love it. This channel, this channel is a lot of fun. I love that you guys love it. Hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell as well. We will see you guys later. I love you. Peace out. 
Yes!